Yeah, Shalom, Akim, the brother writers at Allah from GMS London Camp. First and foremost, give all praises and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahushai, Ba'ashem, Rakakotash. Double honors unto the apostles and elders, the great millstone. Blessings unto the hopeful let run of four winds. Um, just a quick upload, as you know, brothers, and the apostles and elders and, and, and brothers on down, the great millstone. I mean, um, you know, that vibration of chariot signs is um, up in them. Um, running at the highest level right now man why because we're at the very end man and the lord said that you know in the end there will be great signs and wonders man and um those part of those signs and wonders is um seeing of the chariots of israel man which the white man calls ufos unidentified flying objects but to us the identifiable flying objects because we know that's our that's our salvation right there that's how how our lord yahweh shai who they ignorantly call jesus christ 2,000 years ago, this is how he departed from the earth in the so-called chariot, what they call the cloud in the scriptures, man. Interchangeable, man. And um, this is how the Lord's coming back. And the, he's, and the holy angels also with him, man. You know, that holy righteous army, man. You know, and them spiritual war vehicles that the white man calls UFOs. Because, you know, they're things that he can't fathom, things that he can't comprehend, man, because it's above his um, mental capacity, man. You know, even though he tries to emulate and um, tries to um, profane, profane himself as the Most High, man, he's he's boxing. You know, he's um, his arms are too short to box with the Most High, man, and he's um, messing with a power that he can't, you know, comprehend, man. You know, when the Most High, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh reveals himself finally in these last days, man, Esau's Esau's gonna be um, Esau's gonna be broken, man. Spiritually, mentally, and physically, man, he's gonna be a broken specimen, going back to that basement type of spirit which he was born to be, man. You know, straight slave. You know, the Lord said it in Psalms nine that he's gonna show these devils to be nothing but men, man, which they are. You know, you're not the immortals or soon to be immortals that are um, spawned to be on this earth, man. You're not of the children of Israel. You're of the children of Eden, man. The red, the red devil on this earth, man. You know spawn of Esau so you know it's beautiful man because the scriptures tell you man that these these signs are gonna they pay more and more and um you know this is this is great for the men of the Lord because you know this is as I said this is the key to our salvation man them chariots man this is the um whole point of us going out there in the highways and byways pushing this word so we can be delivered from the pestilences and the plagues the ultimate plague being those ICBM missiles man it's gonna t torch this earth very soon man in the near future, Lord's will, you know. So this is um UFO sightings in Belgium, rocket, because um basically the numbers keep spiking up year after year from the Telegraph.co.uk. I'll just read a little bit, a few scriptures and close out. But because Shah says UFO sightings over this supposedly boring country of Belgium surged last year, with astonished Belgians reporting highest numbers of possible alien spaceships. Than in 2017, this is Belgium recorded 255 reports of UFOs in 2018. This is an key increase from 171 witnessed in 2017. So these signs are spiking up. Why? Because the Lord's bringing this place to a close, man. And this was part of the prophecies and signs that the Lord said that you know would be should be um you know a sign of the end, basically, man. You know, sign that these devils are gonna meet the Maker very soon, man. You know, that he's not going to escape judgment. Because the Lord said he, you know, require of that which is past. And this devil's got a whole tab of wickedness and sins that he's committed on this earth, man. Especially to the children of Israel, you niggas, Latinos and Native Americans. That he's got to pay for, man. Mainly slavery. You know, even until this day, this devil's still trying to destroy Jake, man. And he's on his final frontier right now with his Mark of the Beast system, which is the RFID chip. Because he wants to signify that, you know, he's basically got the Lord's children... Lock, lock, stock, lock, stock and barrel, man. And he can do as he pleases to them. But the most high, as, as the Apostle Aram Lobo was, um, did recently of um, those videos of um, spiritual into, um, um, spiritual interventions, man. Basically, the most high is going to intervene, man, through Sun Yahweh Shai and take these devils out of power, man, and crush their asses, man, when they're about to fill their bellies with their new world order. You know, right now, I'm just, you know, if you can hear the TV in the background, it's showing them, um, on the RT News, this, this documentary type series um, on um, watching the Hawks um, program, talking about brain chips, man. You know, talking about adv advanced technologies and 
you know, the IoT and, you know, Internet of Things and linking it up with brain brain enhancements and all that. But basically, why? Why are they doing that? Because they're trying to advertise the end, man. I mean, they're trying to advertise this mark of the beast, man, which is the RFID chip, because that's going to be the final frontier for these devils, you know, to come up against the most high before he crushes their asses, man. So prophecy is being fulfilled, man. And this year is the year of Karagma, man, 2019, man. Fear the chip. It's not a joke, man. You've got some people out there, you know, think it's a game. Well, they're going to find out in the end that this ain't no game, man. This is life and death situations, man. This shit is going to get real out here real soon, you know. So, and um, obviously you've had more and more signs over here in the UK, especially you had the Gatwick situation, Gatwick Airport, where they had a chariot, which they tried to say it was a drone that was in the skies for like four days straight, man. You know, you know, if it was a drone, that shit would have died from, you know, loss of battery life eventually. And, you know, would have fell out the sky, but it wasn't a, a damn drone. It just lied. You know, they brought out the military and all that. Because that was an actual chariot, man. And these devils can't can't mess with that power. They can't fuck with that type of power, man. Excuse my French, man. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't ready for that, man. <coughs> they ain't got no idea who they're playing with, man. The Heavenly Father who created the heavens and the earth and his son, man. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh is the heavenly father's name in the ancient Hebrew and his son's name is Yahweh Shai. You're messing with some powers that, you know, huh, you can't even fathom, man. And you're going to find out the hard way, you know, that, you you, you know, you're not to, me not to mess with the Lord, man. You're not to mess with his children, man, you know. You know, you're going you're gonna to regret putting your hands on the children of Israel when, when we get our hands on you. You know, you're going to wish that word slavery wasn't even invented, man. By the time the Lord, the Lord threw you devils, man, you know. So anyway, we read a little bit more, just rambling on Slack, yeah. So, so, so there's been an increase, it's peaking in October, it says with increases of in the French-speaking region of Wallonia, it says Dutch-speaking Flanders and Brussels. So the main point is that these chariot sightings are going to be all around the whole globe, man. As the Lord said, it's going to be, um, you know, it's the curse that goes across the whole earth, man. You know, as a sign and as a wonder, man. You know, that this, this truth is real, man. This ain't no science fiction movie or none of that man these even though these devils try and mock the, the you know the heavenly father and his son and the angels you know trying to say they look like green goblins and all that in, in spaceships you know that but really they're gonna you know that's the power that's the source right there man you know and then you know all is gonna be restored man the force the force the balance is gonna be restored man just like in you know return of the jedi and all that and the lord's coming man the destroyer of the gentiles is on his way man Jeremiah 4 and 7, man, I always call that scripture because it's true. The Lord's coming, man, and he's coming back in a glorious and magnificent, and magnificent, magnificent, it's like your, um, fashion, man. You know, so anyway, I'm going to jump to the scriptures. No, not to make this too long. This is Zechariah 5 and 1. It says, Then I turned and lifted up mine eyes, and it says, And looked, and behold, a flying roll. It says, And he said unto me, what seest thou? And, says, and I answered, I see a flying roll. And you didn't have no airplanes in the ancient world, man. So I, what, what does that flying roll represent? It represents a chariot, man. You know, what they call today spaceships. You know, they've been about since the beginning of time. You know? It says the length thereof is 20 cubits. And it says the breadth thereof is 10 cubits. See? And it says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth forth over the face of the whole earth. So that's why you're seeing so many sightings. If you get them UFO map sightings, man, you're going to see all kinds of sightings all over the four winds, man. Why? Because it's a curse, man. This is the prophecy that's being fulfilled right there, man. That goes, goes over the face of the whole earth. It's to show the Lord's power, man. And then more and more, you know, miraculous sightings and one of the great wonders are going to start happening where, you know, Esau ain't going to have no answers for, and, you know, for the people, man. He ain't going to be able to lie no more, man. Because that's what he's been doing, lying through his damn... Rotten teeth, man. You know, it's for everyone that stealeth shall be cut off. And you just talking about Esau, man, the so-called white man. You know, the Lord's a true avenger, man. He's gonna get his revenge on these devils, man, that have done all these atrocities on the earth, especially to 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 his people, man. He's gonna get these devils, man. Lock, stock, and barrel. So for everyone that stealeth shall be cut off. And as on this side, according to it, and these other nations ain't exempt either, man. These heathens, you gooks, you, you Arabs, all of you, man. You know, Indians, all the, all the, all like, man. You're gonna get, you're gonna get your just dues as well, man. Because you, you're, you're a confederacy with these so-called white people against the children of Israel, man. The true Hebrew Israelites of the scriptures, man. 
which is the Negroes, Latinos and Native American tribes from the perspective tribes, man. You're going to get yours too, man. You, there's no, you're not exempt. It says, and everyone that sweareth shall be cut off out of the house, or cut off as on that side according to it. So, uh, and, uh, verse 4, and it says, and I will bring it forth. It says, saith the Lord of hosts, Lord of armies, man. And that's why he's got them chariots, man. Because they're straight spiritual war machines, man. They're going to get busy. They'll be zapping people down, man, with them that concentrated fire, man. Laser beams, man. Like they show you in War of the Worlds. It says, saith the Lord of hosts, and says, and it shall enter in the house, into the house of the thief. And that's the so-called white man, man, the nation of Edom. They're known for thievery, man. That's all they've been doing. Going around, plotting on the earth, stealing other people's lands, setting up garrisons and shit. You know? You know, other people's lands, stealing their resources. That's the so-called white man, man. You know, the master disaster, man. You know? That's all he's been doing, is conquering the earth, man. And colonizing and shit like that. This is an into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. It says, and it shall remain in the midst of his house. So it's going to rain, remain in the midst of his house. So he's going to be saying multiple chariot sightings, man. And shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stones thereof. So that it's going to go down in a major way. And I, let me get that scripture in the apographer. Because this, as I said, this is a great sign that we're at the end, man. And the and, and, and speaking, man, loud and clear. For those that can see it. You know, Second Ezra 9. And I'll read from um, from five. It says, "For like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, it says, and the end is manifest. Yeah, the end is manifest, man. It says, even so, the times also of the highest have plain beginnings in wonders and powerful works. See, to so the Lord, the Lord, this is all the handiworks of the heavenly Father, man." And, he's, and, and through his son Yahweh Shai this is all the handiwork of the Lord man you know it says he has plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works and endings in effects and signs so you're going to have a lot of multiple um, signs and effects in the skies man like you had that situation over there in New York where the skies was lit up turned blue and you had multiple chariots in the skies that was the part of the effects and signs man also you're going to have all these situations with these blood moons and eclipses and all that solar eclipses lunar eclipses Super moons, especially over here, in, you know, in the, in, the, in this its first month of the year, January 2019, the year of Karagma, you got you're gonna have all kind of um, um, um blood moons and all that and effects, which is part of the effects in science, man. You know, it's science in the science of the heavens, man. You know, so this is this this is a beautiful time, because as I said, these words are speaking, man. Joel, the second chapter goes into that. And it's verse 7, it says, and everyone that, sh um, that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by f by faith whereby ye have believed. So this is only for the elect, man. They're the only ones that believe, man. They're the only ones that, the remnant that's going to return to the Heavenly Father. They're the only ones that's going to be saved at the end of this thing, man. Because they're doing what the, what the Lord said to do, man. They're doing his bidding, just like our Lord and Savior Yahweh Shai did 2,000 years ago. He came to do his Father's will, man, and he did that. To the team, man, you know. So this is what's coming, man. It's beautiful, man. And um, let me just jump to these last few scriptures and close out. It's Jeremiah 49 and 22. It says, Behold, he shall come up and fly as the eagle, so then spread his wings over Bosra. And who's that talking about? That's talking about the Lord and Saviour, our shine, man. And that he's going to come over Bosra, which Bosra represents e e the nation of Eden, man. You know, these Edomites, not matter, basically the Americas. Because that's their dwelling place right now. You know, that's their capital. The Americas, man. You know, so they, the Lord's going to, you know, spread his wings over Bosra. And he's going to come into the, um, you know, inhabit. Um, he's going to come into the spaces of America, man, basically, man. And, and torch that place. And it says, and at that day shall the heart of the mighty men of Edom. Talk about you so-called white people from your elites on, on down. You know, your elites are going to be spreading yourself thin throughout the four winds trying to hide. The angel's gonna find your ass and cart, we're gonna cart your asses into slavery, man. There's no way you can hide, man. So this is even in the heart, the heart, I meaning the mindset of the mighty men of Edom, the armies, whatever, man. You know, so um, be as the heart of a woman in her pangs, man. Why? Because they're gonna be seeing the majesty of the Lord, man. They're gonna be seeing true power, man. Like Bain said, true power. These devils are gonna be fumbling, man. They're gonna be committing, they're having heart attacks, trying to commit suicide and shit. 
But the laws, the laws got you, you, you devils uh, arranged for that the slavery, man. You know, you're gonna be your 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 elites are gonna be the first crops of slaves in the kingdom of heaven, man. So the Lord's coming for you devils in a major way. You know, vengeance is his. That saith the Lord, man. You know, you know, he's got vendettas too. So that's a beautiful scripture right there because it shows you them chariots. They ain't they ain't nothing to play with, man. Them angels that are in them vehicles are coming to get down on you heathens, man. Especially the nation of Edom, man. The Lord's got a vendetta against the nation of Edom, man. To to the to the bare end, man. You know. It says the mighty men of Edom be as the heart of a woman in her pains, man. So they're gonna be shitting themselves, man, when they see the Lord ultimately come with them chariots, which is gonna be in the midst of World War Three. That's when they're actually gonna start getting down, man. You know, and they're gonna the Lord's gonna deliver his elect from the four winds, and he's gonna destroy Esau and his armies and the other nations, man. And then they're gonna be put into chains forever, you know. Well, Esau for a thousand years, and then his ass is gonna be exterminated off the face of the earth. You know, so Ezekiel 10 and 12 is the last scripture I'm going to close out. It says, and their whole body, talking about the chariots, it says, and their backs and their hands and their wings and their wheels and the wheels were full of eyes round about. So that's to just giving you the you know, complete description of what the chariots look like, man. There's plenty of other verses in the book of Ezekiel you can go and look up on, you know, read upon. You know, but it's giving you straight definition of what the chariots look like man so they were full of eyes round about that's why you see them flashing lights you know full of beautiful metals and all that that are round about the the whole the whole ship you know and then you got them beautiful lights man which are like you know the different um um emeralds and rubies and stuff like that man that's blinging off the damn ship man you know and the lights man this is even the wheels that their forehead that the, that the forehead you know so the, the, the chariots are real man and the cherubims that are in them, the angels, they're real too. And how is Shai's coming back in a major way, man? That's why you're going to see more and more signs of these chariots around the four winds go, off, go off across the whole earth, the curse that go off across the whole earth, man, or the face of the whole earth. And these devils ain't got shit to do. These devils ain't got shit to, um, shit to do about it, man. They can try, but they, they, you know, they're going to fail miserably, you know? So this is it, man. So it's, it's beautiful, man. It's 2019. Year of Karagma starting out with a bang, man. So, you know, that's it, man. It's beautiful. We are watching me off Shai Brakatam. Brakatam, man. So, uh, anyway, I'm going to close out. Give a praise to you. are watching me off Shai Brakatam. Brakatam, Brakatam, Brakatam. Until next time, I say Shalom.